I think the signal to the world <laughs> is that we are doing business. We found opportunities to cooperate together. We are very happy we are making progress. And we hope that you too will find it possible to make similar progress with us or with each other. Because in an open world, we'll all be better off. The problems will be there, have to be managed. But it's far better we cooperate together than, we, that, than that we each close ourselves off in our own little corner. Because that way leads to impoverishment, leads to misunderstanding, leads to trouble. Mm. Uh, as to what comes next, we've just signed three, four major pieces of agreements today under the CSP. I think our next agenda will be to make those happen. And there's a lot of work there to be done. Our officers will be kept quite busy for some time to come. Mm. Right. Well, I, I, again, uh, we are in complete <laughs> unanimity so far. We haven't found anything to disagree on. But uh, the, the, the Prime Minister is, is quite right. This, is, uh, this has been a very uh, big step forward, or four big steps forward today with the four agreements. Uh, but the relationship, I believe, will, will continue to deepen. Engagement will become more intense. Our nations are growing more closely together, and that is not simply because of a close uh, political alignment in terms of our view of the world, it is because of all of those tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people-to-people -people links, business-to-business -business connections. Uh, that is the, that's, that's what drives uh, the relationship. In terms of protectionism generally, uh, at a time uh, of rapid change, unprecedented in all of human history in its scale and pace. Inevitably, this will create anxiety, concern, and indeed fear among people and sectors of communities, industries that are being disrupted and affected. And the critical role for us as leaders is to set out the facts clearly reassure our communities and reassure and explain to them that turning your back on technology, turning your back on innovation, turning your back on this change is only a road back to impoverishment, as Prime Minister Lee said. And you know, the world has seen that film before. So this is not a theoretical proposition. So the, the road is clear. We need to embrace the future. We need to ensure that we proceed, as both of us are committed to doing, with an inclusive and cohesive society, embracing change, embracing innovation, because we know that that is the way we secure the jobs and the growth, not just for our generation, but for our children and grandchildren.